Today I'm going to show you my stamps of the uh, French territory of the Afars and Isis. So, uh, yes, a, a little bit of uh, background is uh, located in, in East Africa. It's in, in this area called the Horn of Africa. And uh, it used to be, you know, at, uh, a colony of France and the uh, capital at that time was uh, Djibouti. And uh, it has changed names, you know, oh during that uh, time of the uh, uh, stamps has been issued. Initial name was uh, French Somali Coast and uh, from uh, 1894 to 1967. And if you look at that uh, SCAT book, so that's from uh, uh, stamp number one, 300 on, uh, 309, right? And then the name was changed to the French territory of the Afar and Isis. That's the one we're going to talk today. And that from 1967 to 1977, so 10, 11 years more or less. And so the first time in here appears as a number 310. Wasn't this territory originally called Obok? Isn't that the same place as yes. French Somali Coast? It's O-B-O-C-K. But let me just read this brief note in the catalog. It says Obok was the point of entrance from which French Somaliland was formed. Okay, the port was acquired by the French in 1862, but was not actually occupied until 1884, blah, blah, blah. So Obak was, I guess, part of what became uh, the territory of French Somali coast, and then, you know, with its further name changes. In here, this chronologic order is only based uh, uh, when the first stamp was printed, uh, and then when they got the independence uh, from France in 1977, they changed the name to uh, Djibouti Republic. The main focus in here is the territory of Afar Isis, right? And the, the first stamp in here is no number one. So I just trying to say, hey, where was the number one? Where this started? And they, they mentioned in there, hey, before was the French Somali coast. And that's when they, they start. Now, th this country probably could have had many other names before, but I just based in this, on that SCAT catalog and when they start printing stamps. So this is not really the whole history of this territory of this land. Okay, this is just related to the stamps only. If we look at the map in here, actually all this area is what is called the Horn of Africa, right? So, so this is uh, now appears in here because this is just only a portion that this is the, the biggest land that, that uh, Afar and Isis territory is, is not really, it, it's just, this is amplified just to show this area. But so in the north you have Eritrea and then you have e Ethiopia a little bit more to the west, Somalia Correct. at the bottom. And then you have the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. And then you have the uh, Arabic uh, Peninsula, Yemen in here, right? So so this is, this is just so to, to locate, uh, uh, where is this located? I just have a, a few stamps in, in here, just as a sample. They are not uh, necessarily uh, more important any than the other one. So the, 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 the first one we have in here, this is this uh, bird, they call it gray-headed kingfish. This stamp is actually is supposed to be number one, right? In, that, in the catalog, but it's actually uh, number 310 because it's, it's where, uh, the continuation of uh, the Somali coast stamps. Same thing happened with this one. So this one in the catalog is number 50, but it's, it is the first stamp, the first air post stamp, the uh, Afar and Isis territory. Then there is a, a, a few more stamps, not necessarily that important, but uh, it, yes, as a sample. So uh, soccer is the most important sport in this country. And, and I think in, in many African countries and European countries too. This is just a, a, a rodent, look more like a squirrel. squirrel. And this picture is the, uh, during the, this stamp is during the visit of the French president, Georges Pompidou. I think the year is uh, uh, 1973. This is the first stamp that actually doesn't appear as a number one because as I, I mentioned before, and there are just yes, uh, a few nice colorful birds and we have that uh, uh, soccer and sports. This is a uh, UN stamp. I think it's that from probably that. Uh, this is maybe the health organization. I think I don't know how to translate this, but I think that's what it is. And uh, 
then some this look like a fortress types uh, stamps, more a uh, UN stamps. Then these stamps actually they have a descriptions in here, so we can read. So this is like a, some type of a television station, and this is the, the Palace of Justice, some Congress building, and this is a mosque. I think this is uh, some French structure, may not be necessarily from, from this. A monument to the Free French. Ah, that's what it is? Okay, okay. Yes. And this is the post office, the general post office in here. I guess they use the word hotel. Uh, and this is more like, like a police station, is it? Commissariat, whatever is that. I don't speak any French at all. So. Uh, uh, this is probably airport. Okay, now this is interesting. This is very extremely important to the economy of this country and other countries in Africa. You know, very extremely important, but in a negative way, in a very negative way. Well, how do you call it? Uh, low cost. And uh, so this uh, multiply exists in, in the millions. There, there are like swarms in there, and they eat. All, all that uh, crops and they eat uh, uh, all the pasture for, for that, uh, all the animals to eat. So it's very negative. So they always, this is more like an extermination of that, trying to figure it out through helicopters and uh, airplanes, very significant. So, so uh, in other stamps, they show you in a good way, like, hey, the, the, we, we like this animal, this insect or something, but in here they don't, but they just to show it, show you to you. Okay, uh, th this is more like an on ornamental uh, uh, dagger, like uh, typical of this area. Oh, th this is the, the universal or uh, yeah, international post union building in here. And uh, I read this is, how do you call this? Uh, trap shooting, I think it's called, this is port in here. That uh, I guess you shoot it from here and then you try to touch it and then some other uh, sport. Now, these are significant because uh, th th these are more, more uh, uh, geological uh, rocks and everything. This, this country is very, uh, have a lot of uh, seismic action, geological actions that, uh, so you are going to see all type of uh, rocks and minerals and uh, yeah, so it's, uh, very uh, typical of this area. Now, here you see the uh, President de Gaulle from France. And uh, again, this is that uh, International Postal Union, some anniversary, uh, that, yeah, 100 years old, I think it is, the Postal Union, uh, some shells, and uh, yes, some shepherd, I think, yes, in here. Now, here, the, 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 see, see the, these three stamps in here, right? The, the, you, you see these uh, flamingos in here, but now this uh, lake, uh, I guess you say Ave or Ave, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce. Yeah, so this is one of the exotic uh, wonders, natural wonders that exist. So they, they say that uh, you, you see this, uh, how do you call it? Uh, hot springs, they bubble in the middle of the desert in this area, you know, so it's uh, very interesting to see because of all that uh, uh, seismic and geological happening in here. So, so you are going to see it's not going to be that many stamps because it's only about 10 years or so of uh, they produce stamps in here. Uh, this is uh, some treasury building and again some government buildings on some shells, butterflies. And now we start with that air post stamps. So it's, it's no, yeah. Uh, and, and this is, uh, as I said before, this is the number one, but actually, actually we call it 50, number 50 in this case. That's an uh, eagle, yeah, type of eagle really. Yeah. And uh, what we have in here, uh, th this is a, a mask and the Concord, and here, this is the map of that uh, Afar San Isis territory. 
uh, what is this uh, Munich Olympics in here and uh, uh, yes, this is Pasteur, yes. Now, the, the, these two stamps, they were issued during the visit of the president, George Pompidou, that we saw before, and some more uh, rock formations. Animals. Uh, these are some uh, famous uh, French people in the world, probably French, yeah. Now, this is a uh, carving in here. Now, these three stamps in here, in Lake Asal, right? You see these three stamps. So, th this lake is uh, actually very famous in, in this area. Uh, first, is that the lowest point in Africa, you know, in altitude. So, it's uh, uh, under the uh, sea level, I think like 150 meters or something. So, it's the lowest point in Africa and one of the lowest points in the world. I don't know what number, but this in Africa is the, the lowest one. Now, also, you, you see this crystallized uh, wooden uh, rock formations. It's really an incredible view that, they, uh, you know, because of this uh, activity, uh, seismic and geological activity in this, in this country. Now, uh, here, yes, is some uh, post do stamps. Uh, and this, uh, this is just some groups. I, I, I myself, I just put this, this uh, uh, group of stamps. So, so that then I have a handy if I need to, to exchange it to somebody, you know, it's easy for me to find them. Uh, here you have a, a couple of uh, imperfect stamps. Here actually, these four are imperfect stamps. And then, also, these are imperfect stamps, it's a blocks. Now, now a couple more imperfect stamps. Now, these ones in here, these are, if you realize, let me make it bigger, they all have the same value, right? This is what we call it uh, trial colors. So they, they just print the different colors trying to figure it out what's the best color to use at the end. Here, they mix it, right? So they, they but, but it's the same stamp and the same value. Uh, the same thing happening here, you know, so, so it's at 20 francs. Now, what is in, in here, these are that uh, die proof, right? So mm -hmm. you see a sign by the author, usually, I think it's like a pencil, they sign, I don't know why, but this one's a pencil. And they, they have some type of uh, seal, and um, also that type of paper. I don't know the name of the paper, but this type of proof is called a sunken die proof. Mm -hmm. They they imprint the, the the stamp under high pressure, so it actually sinks down into the paper. You see how that around the edge there, there's a square which that's yes. actually sunken down below the surface of the rest of the paper. It probably just gets enables them to get a very clear impression. I think the paper is called India. So so now look at this stamp and look at that value. So it is actually the same stamp and the same value, but in different color too. Right, so so they do pretty much the same thing that they they do with the other trial colors, uh, and say so still they keep doing the same thing, and they have the seal in here, uh, and th this is just different values, but it's a, a, the same technique and the same type of paper, continue like that, and that's a, the signature of the artist who who designed it, and this is just a different stamp. Now, this is a little bit different, right? So th this is actually, is called a uh, relax proof. So this is the real color of the stamps, but now it doesn't come with a signature of the artist, but uh, you know, some type of uh, mentioning that is uh, in the thing. That would be pro, pro pre-production mechanics. So, so you, you see always that, uh, and that's it. This is going back to the first.